Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The oceans contain great mysteries within their depths. While many of these mysteries have been explained by scientists and analysts, there are still quite a few unexplained oceanic enigmas that intrigue us. A variety of mysterious ocean phenomena have been seen and experienced by sailors around the world. Number 10. Cross Sea A cross sea looks beautiful from afar, but is actually very dangerous. The pattern occurs when two wave systems cross while traveling at slanting angles to each other. The waves from older weather systems continue on until they dissipate, and the ocean becomes a swirling, dangerous place for swimmers and boats. A cross sea can also sometimes produce very tall waves. Many ship accidents have been blamed on encountering cross sea conditions. Number 9. Tides of Mont Saint Michel. The Mont Saint Michel is one of Europe's most unforgettable sites. Set in the mesmerizing bay where Normandy and Brittany merge, the island draws the eye from great distances. Each month, the tides at Mont Saint Michel have periods where they are extreme, and a few times a year, they are dangerous. On about half of the days each month, extreme high tides almost turn the mountain into an island, while extreme low tides mean you'll need to squint off into the distance to convince yourself that there really is water in the bay of Mont Saint Michel. It is essential that anyone visiting Mont Saint Michel be aware of the tides and plan accordingly, particularly if and when you walk on the sand around the island there can be a difference of 15 meters, 50 feet, between low and high tide. On about a dozen days of the year, the tides can be so extreme as to be dangerous, and they can change quickly. When wet, the sand can be unstable, and a person can sink into it like quicksand, drowning as the tide rushes in. Number 8. Maelstrom Whirlpools are caused by a turbulent flow of water. When moving river water is forced to twist around an object or to stream into a narrower riverbed, the water flows faster and is more likely to create an energetic swirling turbulence. In the ocean, depending on the geology of the seabed, driving currents can collide and create conflicting tidal flows. A whirlpool of extraordinary size or violence is a maelstrom. The swirling vortex is deadly. The maelstrom of Saltstraumen is located next to Norway. Positioned near the Arctic Circle, the mightiest maelstrom in the world creates the strongest tidal currents on the globe. While the Saltstraumen is the strongest maelstrom, the Moskstraumen is the most famous, perhaps infamous thanks to Edgar Allan Poe and Jules Verne. The third largest maelstrom in the world is located in the relatively narrow Strait of Corivrecken. Extreme tidal currents surge into whirlpools, swirling round and round, due in part to its location between two islands off the west coast of Scotland and the Pyramid Rock on the seafloor. The largest whirlpool in the Western Hemisphere is called Old Sow. This maelstrom is situated between the shores of Deer Island and Moose Island, in between New Brunswick and Maine. Number 7. Rogue Wave Rogue Freak or killer waves have been part of marine folklore for centuries, but have only been accepted as a real phenomenon by scientists over the past few decades. Ten-story high, near vertical walls of frothing water, smashed portholes, and flooded cabins on the upper decks, 30-meter behemoths that rise up from nowhere to throw ships about like corks, only to slip back beneath the depths moments later. Rogues, called extreme storm waves by scientists, are those waves which are greater than twice the size of surrounding waves, are very unpredictable, and often come unexpectedly from directions other than prevailing wind and waves. Most reports of extreme storm waves say they look like walls of water. They are often steep-sided with unusually deep troughs. Since these waves are uncommon, measurements and analysis of this phenomenon is extremely rare. Exactly how and when rogue waves form is still under investigation. Number 6. Red Tide In H.G. Wells' 1898 novel, The War of the Worlds, the invading Martians bring with them a noxious red weed that suffocates the land and poisons the water. Fortunately, it dies off at the end of the novel, killed by good old British bacteria. Real life isn't so tidy. Currently, there is no force, biological or otherwise, capable of stopping the algae blooms that are attacking coastal waters around the world with frightening regularity. 
turning thousands of square miles into odoriferous graveyards of dead and rotting fish. Drifting throughout the ocean, invisible to the naked eye, are innumerable microscopic algae. These tiny algae are essential components to ocean life as they fuel the food web by harnessing light energy from the sun. But when supplied with excess nutrients, they can multiply uncontrollably, becoming an unwanted mass commonly called a red tide that smothers nearby ocean life. The algae linked to red tides contain a toxin that affects the nervous and digestive system of animals. Number 4. Bermuda Triangle The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Reports of unexplained occurrences in the region date to the mid-19th century. Some ships were discovered completely abandoned for no apparent reason. Others transmitted no distress signals and were never seen or heard from again. Aircraft have been reported and then vanished, and rescue missions are said to have vanished when flying in the area. However, wreckage has not been found and some of the theories advanced to explain the repeated mysteries have been fanciful. Although theories of supernatural causes for these disappearances abound, geophysical and environmental factors are most likely responsible. One hypothesis is that pilots failed to account for the agonic line, the place at which there is no need to compensate for magnetic compass variation as they approach the Bermuda Triangle, resulting in significant navigational error and catastrophe. Number 3. Meteo Tsunami a meteo tsunami is a tidal wave that occurs not as a result of seismic activity or an earthquake like a tsunami, but rather from atmospheric condition. Meteo tsunamis are generally smaller than tsunamis caused by earthquakes. When conditions are right, such as severe thunderstorms, squalls, or other storm fronts caused by unstable atmospheric pressure activity, a meteo tsunami can occur in any type of body of water. As a storm that generated the wave moves toward the shore, the wave grows larger and larger as the continental shelf becomes more shallow. Then, as the wave approaches the shore of a coast, the meteo tsunami forms. The meteo tsunami has been reported in many places around the world, including the Great Lakes, Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic Ocean coast, and the Mediterranean and Adriatic seas. Identifying one of these waves is a challenge because its characteristics are almost identical to a seismic tsunami, making it difficult to predict them and warn the public of potential disaster. Number 2. Riptide Rip currents are powerful, narrow channels of fast-moving water that are prevalent along the east, gulf, and west coasts of the U.S., as well as along the shores of the Great Lakes. Moving at speeds of up to 8 feet per second, rip currents can move faster than an Olympic swimmer. Panicked swimmers often try to counter a rip current by swimming straight back to shore, putting themselves at risk of drowning because of fatigue. Lifeguards rescue tens of thousands of people from rip currents in the U.S. every year, but it is estimated that 100 people are killed by rip currents annually. If caught in a rip current, don't fight it. Swim parallel to the shore and swim back to land at an angle. Number 1. Tsunami A tsunami is a series of ocean waves that send surges of water, sometimes reaching heights of over 100 feet, 30.5 meters, onto land. These walls of water can cause widespread destruction when they crash ashore. Tsunamis are giant waves caused by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions under the sea. Out in the depths of the ocean, tsunami waves do not dramatically increase in height, but as the waves travel inland, they build up to higher and higher heights as the depth of the ocean decreases. The speed of tsunami waves depends on ocean depth rather than the distance from the source of the wave. Tsunami waves may travel as fast as jet planes over water, only slowing down when reaching shallow waters. While tsunamis are often referred to as tidal waves, this name is discouraged by oceanographers because tides have little to do with these giant waves. The Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004 killed an estimated 225,000 people in 14 countries, including India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, and Thailand. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share. Write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.